Welcome to another top 10 video. I don't know if it's top 10, but this is the top something. We'll find out at the end of the video. Uh, Super W Wrestlers that missed that should be in 2K19 that missed out on 2K18. And this, there may be another part to this. So, uh, if someone you feel like should have been on this list wasn't, they'll probably be in the next part. So I'll see you guys once we get to the video. Alright, here we are with number 10. Uh, I don't mean to say number 10. Uh, we're just going to count upwards. So, number 1, we got Andrade Cien Almas, the current NXT champion. Surprisingly, is not in the game. I'm shocked, like, actually surprised, 100%, like, legit surprised that he's in the game. And Lars, he isn't in the game, and Lars Sullivan it, somehow made it in there. And I'm slightly pissed off about that as well, but it's not horrible. I mean, it's cool. It's cool seeing Lars in the game. Alright, so... Be, uh, I'm... Guaranteed... I'm pretty much, like, I'm guaranteed... Like, I'm positive he's gonna make 2K19. Like, if not, then what is going on with 2K? But, yeah. Like, he's got a fantastic moveset. He's hilarious. He is, he is an NXT champion, of course. He's good at selling moves. You could probably have some OMG moments in there as well. I mean, like, what is there not to have for him? Why would you not want, like, I, I would play as him. Look at this move. Like, how, I just don't understand how Lars Sullivan made it in the game who actually just only now became relevant in NXT, but somehow they didn't put CN in there. Uh, and also a honorable mentions to the manager and also a honorable mention to Wolfgang, as I didn't put him on here, but he'll probably be on another one. All right, number two, Adam Cole. Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole just came up, and he's gonna most likely be an NXT champion real soon. Like, I bet you he's he's either gonna get called up before he's NXT champion, or he's gonna win that NXT title. He was fantastic in the war games and even got the final pinfall. And he's not a bad seller as well. He's good in the ring. And I feel like this is a definite going to be in there. Alright, number three, Kyrie Sane. Another good women's member for the roster. Kyrie Sane will definitely be in that game. Like, she's got one of the best elbow drops I've ever seen. Look at this. She'll most likely be NXT Women's Champion eventually, or get called up before and win the main roster title. One of the SmackDown or Raw Women's titles. Number four. Shayna Baszler, Shayna Baszler, from uh, the Mae Young Classic. She, I believe, will be actually on the main roster. Hopefully, the face off with like Charlotte, Becky, Bailey, and uh, Sasha in a four horsemen versus four horsemen women's match at Mania. Who knows? That's what we're wanting. And there's the rest of the four horsemen for UFC. She is talented in the ring, and her finishing move would be dope to have in a game like this. She came in second in the Mae Young Classic. So I definitely believe she will be in the game. Let's go to 
number five. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Oh, this is number five and six. So, number six, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. These two are definitely going to be NXT Tag Team Champions eventually, 100%. They are incredibly good in the ring, and that's why they should be in the game. All right. Number seven, Leo Rush. We haven't seen much of him in NXT. We did see some of him, but we need to see more. But I feel like he would be a great addition to the Cruiserweight division, and they might put him in there, and he would be great for the game. All right, number eight, Liv Morgan. Just came up to the main roster. Uh, very talented in NXT. I feel like she was very underused in NXT as well. Uh, but hopefully she will be used better on the main roster. It looks like she will be. It looks like that is what's going to be going down at the current moment. But with luck, they will use her better on the main roster. On SmackDown. Or, sorry, on, yeah, on SmackDown. I got it right. Uh, number nine, Pete Dunne. By the way, this is not an order of people who must be in the game. Like, Pete Dunne would probably be number one or number two. So, yeah. Pete Dunne, of course, the UK champion, fantastic wrestler. One of the best matches they've had all year was against Tyler Bate. We'll get on to him later. Uh, but... If he's not in the game, people are going to be disappointed. They were disappointed he wasn't in the game this year. He's got a fantastic move set. He was on. He is. He. I guarantee you, he will be in the in two K eight, two K nineteen. Sorry, because he did make his debut on Raw recently. He went. He like. There's a clip from the Tyler Bates match, but yes, like he made his debut. On Raw recently against Enzo. Right here's a clip of that. So I feel like he will definitely be in the game. And many people are going to be happy to see him in there. And he'll, I'll probably be playing as him a lot more than I should be. <laughs> Alright. Number 10, surprisingly, uh, this one's on the list, and I was, I didn't know if I was going to put him on the list originally or not, but I decided to because he, he should definitely be in there, so I decided to put Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews, another one of the UK stars, fantastic wrestler, great high flyer, and another person a lot of people were mad weren't in the game already. He's got a great move set. Very entertaining to watch. And he'll probably be really fun to play as, as his moveset would probably be pretty good. As he's got, like, a lot of moves that a lot of people would want in the game. That actually aren't in the game. And, yeah. I feel like he's 100% gonna be in 2K19. Like, without a doubt, because they're going to need some new guys in there, and that's that's what, they're, if they're not going to sign too many this year, that's one of the definites, along with Shelton Benjamin, who I forgot to put on this. So he will be the next one, 100%. Uh, like, he's got a fantastic moveset, very entertaining in the ring. And he will definitely either win the Cruiserweight title, or the UK title eventually. Number 11, Tyler Bate. The first ever UK champion won the UK championship tournament. Uh, made his debut on 205 Live fantastic skilled in the ring and one of the most wanted characters to be in 2k18 that wasn't other than Pete Dunne <coughs> a 
lots of people were mad to see that Tyler Bate was not on that roster. Like, look at his fantastic move set. Wolfgang is an honorable mention, but this isn't an honorable mention because there's no honor that he'll be in the next one. Tyler Bate. I. I am positive that he will 100% be in the next game, and hopefully they'll give him a new animation for Tyler Driver. Now this one, I would absolutely be so pissed if he wasn't in the next in next year's game. Number 12, Velveteen Dream. Just becoming hugely popular against Aleister Black at TakeOver War Games, Velveteen Dream needs to be in that game. Like, literally, if he wasn't in that game, so many people are going to be pissed off. Currently, I'm not too impressed that he's not in 2K18. It would be so dope if they somehow could add him in there. Maybe an additional DLC featuring him and, like, maybe Adam Cole. But that's probably not happening. 100% not happening, actually. But it, people just can't wait to be able to play as him. Uh, I'm probably going to download him on Community Creations as I'm speaking here. Like, his moveset is fantastic. His character is fantastic. And let's go to number 13. Orny Lorcan. Now this one might be a surprise. This is the last one for this list. So 13 is the number. And surprisingly, I put Orny Lorcan. <laughs> because I feel like he is underused. He's not bad in the ring. He's actually pretty entertaining when I look back. He's got some good moves. Uh, and I feel like he could be uh, good for the Cruiserweight division. He's not bad at selling. His character is not terrible. I mean, if he has a character, I mean, like, but he's decent in the ring. Yeah, he's been in NXT for a while, so he might be in a call up soon. But yeah, Orny Lorcan is the final one for this list. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, keep it easy, fam. Peace. And that is a Easter egg for the next top 10 video. And it will be top 10, or actually it will be like top 50, some 55 I think. NXT wrestlers, favorite NXT wrestlers of all time. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and as well as keep it easy, fam. Peace.